Addiction isn't just a bad habit. It's not just weak will. It's a rewiring of your brain that makes quitting feel impossible, even when it's destroying your life. Let's see how addiction hijacks your brain, why it keeps you trapped, and the hidden secrets that make it so hard to break free. 1. The Dopamine Trap Addiction starts with your brain's favorite currency, dopamine. Every hit, drink, pill, or scroll floods your brain with a surge of this feel-good chemical. At first, that it's a harmless pleasure and your brain rewards you for doing something that feels good. But the trap is that over time, your brain starts to crave more just to feel normal. The dopamine receptors get overwhelmed and numb out so the same dose doesn't hit as hard. Now you're chasing that first high, needing more and more, getting less and less satisfaction in return. This is why addiction isn't about having no self-control. It's about a hijacked reward system that keeps you stuck in a loop. Even if you want to stop, your brain's motivation circuits keep whispering, just one more. The cruel twist, everyday pleasures, music, food, hugs, start feeling dull because your brain is wired to chase the bigger hit. That's the dopamine trap. Pleasure becomes a prison. 2. Tolerance and Escalation once you're hooked by the dopamine trap, another hidden enemy shows up, tolerance. This is when your brain gets so used to the substance or behavior that it stops reacting the way it did at first. What once gave you a rush now barely moves the needle. So what do you do? You take more. Stay longer. Push further. You escalate. This is why a casual drink can turn into binge drinking. Why one pill becomes ten. And why a quick gamble becomes an all-night spiral. The brain's reward system adapts. It always wants more stimulation to get the same buzz. But here's the dark side. The higher you go, the more damage you do to your body, your relationships, and your self-control. And while your tolerance for the substance climbs, your tolerance for normal life shrinks. Simple joys don't cut it anymore. This cycle traps millions, chasing a high that keeps moving further out of reach while life slips further out of control. 3. Hijacked decision-making Addiction doesn't just make you crave something, it rewires how you make choices. Deep inside your brain, the prefrontal cortex acts like your personal CEO. It plans, weighs consequences, and says no when you're tempted to do something reckless. But addiction hijacks this system. Over time, the brain's reward center, the limbic system, overpowers the rational brain. The craving feels urgent, like survival, and the ability to weigh pros and cons gets drowned out. This is why people stuck in addiction often lie, hide, or make risky choices that don't make sense from the outside. It's not about lacking morals. It's about a brain stuck in survival mode for the next fix. Even when you know it's ruining your health, your job, or your family, that logical voice gets drowned out. The addicted brain starts running on impulse. The worst part? Many people blame themselves for this weakness, when really the brain's wiring is being held hostage. 4. Emotional escape Addiction isn't always about the substance or behavior. It's often about the feelings you're trying to escape. Many people turn to drugs, alcohol, gambling, or even endless scrolling because it numbs the pain for a moment. Stress, grief, loneliness, trauma. The brain seeks relief from anything uncomfortable. When you use a substance or habit to cope, your brain links that escape to relief. Over time, this becomes a cycle. Feel bad. Use. Feel temporary relief. Feel worse later. Crave the escape again. The brain learns that the fastest way to silence anxiety, sadness, or shame is to reach for that quick fix. This emotional dependence can be even harder to break than physical cravings. The original pain doesn't go away. It's just buried under layers of temporary comfort. That's why recovery often means more than just quitting the substance. It means facing the feelings you've been running from and learning healthier ways to sit with discomfort without needing to numb it. 5. Withdrawal and Fear One of the addiction's darkest traps is withdrawal, the body's brutal reminder that it's no longer in charge. When you stop using a substance your brain depends depends on, it panics. Physical withdrawal symptoms, shaking, nausea, sweating, headaches, feel unbearable. But the mental symptoms can be even worse. Crushing anxiety, deep depression, insomnia, or intense cravings that scream at you to just give in and make it stop. This fear of withdrawal keeps millions stuck in the loop. It's not just about wanting the high, it's about avoiding the pain of coming down. The brain's reward system is so hijacked that it forgets how to function without the substance. People don't stay addicted because they love it. They stay addicted because the alternative feels impossible to survive. This is why support, medical help, and proper detox are so crucial. No one should have to fight the storm of withdrawal alone because the fear of it is powerful enough to keep you chained forever. 6. Triggers and Cravings Even after you stop using, addiction never really forgets you, and this is where triggers and cravings come in. A trigger can be anything. A smell, a place, an old friend, a song, even a certain feeling like boredom or stress. When your brain links these cues to the substance, it lights up your reward pathways like fireworks, demanding you chase the old high. 
Suddenly, the craving feels impossible to ignore. Your brain floods you with thoughts convincing you that just one more time won't hurt. But it always does. Triggers can hide anywhere. Your daily routine, social circles, and even celebrations. This is why recovery isn't just about stopping the substance. It's about rewiring your life to dodge these hidden landmines. Cravings don't mean you're weak. They mean your brain is doing exactly what it's been trained to do. Understanding triggers is power. It's how you learn to pause, breathe, and choose a different path when the craving strikes. 7. Genetics and Risk Addiction doesn't hit everyone equally, so, and that's not just about choices, it's about your DNA. Genetics can load the gun long before the substance pulls the trigger. Research shows that if addiction runs in your family, your brain's reward system might be wired to crave stronger dopamine hits. Some people naturally produce less dopamine or have fewer dopamine receptors, so when they find a substance or behavior that floods their brain with feel-good chemicals, it feels extra irresistible. Genes also influence impulsivity, stress response, and mental health risks, all of which make addiction more likely to stick. But here's the twist. Genetics is not destiny. They're risk factors, not life sentences. Understanding your genetic risk can help you stay alert and make smarter choices early on. It's like knowing you're more likely to sunburn so you wear sunscreen. In the same way, awareness, healthy coping skills, and support can help you protect your brain's future, even if your genes push you toward danger. 8. The Shame Loop Addiction isn't just about craving. It's about the crushing weight of shame that locks people in. Here's how the shame loop works. You use the substance or behavior to feel better, to escape stress or pain. But afterward, guilt hits hard. You feel weak, embarrassed, or disgusted with yourself. That shame doesn't motivate you to quit. It makes you feel worthless, hopeless, and alone. So what do you do to numb that feeling? You go right back to your addiction because it's the only thing that gives you quick relief. Over time, your brain wires this loop tighter. Bad feelings? Use guilt, worse feelings, use again. This is why tough love or shaming someone into quitting rarely works. It fuels the same cycle they're trying to escape. Breaking the shame loop means replacing blame with understanding, secrecy with support, and self-loathing with self-compassion. Only then can someone learn to face their pain without running from it. 9. The Hidden Costs Addiction always takes more than it gives, but most of its costs stay hidden until it's too late. People see the obvious price, money wasted, time lost, and relationships are broken. But underneath that, addiction drains you of your energy, your confidence, and your ability to trust yourself. It robs you of opportunities, jobs you didn't apply for, dreams you didn't chase, friendships that faded because the addiction came first. The brain gets stuck in survival mode, so planning for the future feels pointless. Health problems build up quietly too. Liver damage, heart strain, mental decline, while the addicted brain keeps whispering, you'll deal with that later. That later rarely comes. The hidden costs add up in the form of regret, isolation, and a shrinking sense of who you could have been. That's why recovery isn't just about quitting the substance. It's about reclaiming the parts of your life the addiction silently stole and believing you're still worth the fight. 10. Hope and Recovery Addiction can feel like a life sentence, but here's the truth people don't hear enough. Recovery is possible. Not overnight, but possible. The same brain that got rewired by addiction can be rewired again through healing. Neuroplasticity means your brain can form new pathways, rebuild self-control, and reconnect to healthy sources of pleasure and purpose. Recovery starts with honesty, admitting you need help, breaking the silence, and finding support. It might be therapy, a support group, medication, lifestyle changes, or all of the above. It's not linear. There are relapses, setbacks, and days you want to quit quitting. But every small win builds momentum. Your brain learns to crave freedom more than substance. People who've recovered say the same thing. They didn't just get their old life back, they discovered a stronger self they'd never met before. If you or someone you love is trapped, remember that hope is real, help is real, and recovery is worth every step. If you or someone you love is struggling, you're not alone. Drop a comment, share your story, or just remind someone there's hope. Like, share, and subscribe for more mind science that matters. Take care of your brain. It's the only one you've got. Better brain days.